Welcome to the series of all Mac models, which Mac model is capable, either officially or unofficially, to run macOS Monterey or even the brand new macOS 13 Ventura when it will be released in fall. In this video we talk about iMac and all iMac models starting from the latest up until the first Intel based in 2006. There's already a video about MacBook Pro and there will be another video about MacBook, MacBook Air and one about Mac Mini and Mac Pro. So have a lot of fun, let's start. So let's start with the 2021 iMac and that is the first one with the Apple M1 chip, which was obviously released with macOS 12 Monterey and it obviously will be supported by macOS 13 Ventura. Next one is the 2020 iMac, which is the last one with an Intel CPU and also this version will be fully supported with Monterey and Ventura. Same for the 2019 iMac and same for the 2017 iMac which is the iMac 18. In 2017 also the iMac Pro was released but this is also fully supported. The 2015 iMac and these are the models 16 and 17 are officially supported with macOS Monterey but these are the first ones that will not be supported by macOS 13 Ventura when it is released in fall. The 2014 and 15 iMac which is model 15 is officially only supported up to macOS 11 Big Sur but with open core there is no problem at all to run macOS Monterey on this machine without any caveats. Same goes for the 2013 and 14 iMac which is model 14 and here's the difference the model 14.4 which was released in 2014 goes officially up to macOS 11 Big Sur while the macOS 14.1, 2 and 3 are only supported up to macOS 10.15 Catalina. But good news any of the iMac models 14 will run macOS 12 Monterey without any problems when you use the open core bootloader. Same goes for the 2012 and 13 iMac, that's version 13, officially supported until Catalina, no problem at all with macOS 12 Monterey. The 2011 iMac, which is version 12, is only supported up to macOS 10.13 High Sierra. And there's a reason for that, because the graphic chip, the AMD Radeon HD, is not Metal capable. Metal is required since macOS 10.14 Mojave, and so it runs without a problem with macOS 12 Monterey, but you need to install the post install root patch that is the open core graphic acceleration. The same goes for the 2010 iMac as well for the 2009 iMac, all supported officially to High Sierra, running Monterey, but with a graphic acceleration patch. The 2008 and 9 iMacs, these are the versions 8 and 9, are officially supported only up until OS X 10.6 Snow Leopard if they have one gigabyte of RAM and if they have two or more gigabytes of RAM they are officially supported until 10.11 El Capitan. So that means if you want to run an unsupported macOS with open core on these models you have to upgrade to four gigabytes of RAM to run macOS 12 Monterey if you have a 2 GB of RAM, it's only up to Mojave. And with 1 GB RAM, you have to stay with Snow Leopard. A 2007 iMac, which is version 7. Same problems here with 1 GB of RAM, officially supported up until OS X 10.6 Snow Leopard, with 2 GB of RAM or more, supported up until 10.11 El Capitan, and the same restrictions for running an unsupported macOS but there's a big but in running unsupported macOS's on a 2007 iMac. 
The feedback from the community is you have to do an SSE 4.1 CPU upgrade. What does that mean? You have to change the CPU and you also have to upgrade to minimum of 4 GB RAM. They can run with 6 GB as well. The downside is that the Bluetooth module will not work anymore with macOS 12 Monterey because the drivers were dropped long ago and even the post install root patch cannot fix the Bluetooth driver requirement and it is recommended to just use a USB Bluetooth stick and switch off the internal Bluetooth. And for completion, the 2006 iMacs, this is the first Intel based iMac, the version 4, 5 and 6. They are officially supported either to OS X 10.5 Leopard, 10.6 Snow Leopard and if you have 2 GB of RAM to OS X 10.7 Lion. There is no update possible with the open core because they only have a 32-bit firmware and you need a 64-bit firmware for the new Mac OS's and same problem as before the CPUs have no SSE for one capability so it's not recommended to try any updates on the 2006 iMac. Back to 2017, all iMac models are fully supported, even with Mac OS 13 Ventura when it's released in fall. The iMac 2015 is the big loser because it is still supported with macOS Monterey but it will not be supported anymore with macOS 13 Ventura. Back to 2009, generally all iMac models are capable of running macOS 12 Monterey. You might need to install the post install root patch because some of the graphic chips are not metal capable. If you have a 2008 iMac, you have to make sure you have enough RAM, at least 4 GB. Starting with the iMac 2007, I do not recommend updating this one to Monterey or even to Mojave. I recommend if you want to upgrade it only to go up to High Sierra because this is the latest macOS that doesn't require metal. 2006 iMac, there is no way to upgrade this to Monterey or even to Big Sur. So I would just recommend going back to the latest official macOS and use it as a piece of vintage hardware. 